Hey what's up guys this is from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video i'll talk about cinema 4d dynamic simulation properties and after that with the help of element 3d i'll render it out so now let's get started So guys, uh, right now we are in Cinema 4D but as I noticed that 75% people are not subscribing my channel whenever they come and watch my videos so I highly recommend to all of you please to subscribe, like, comment and share obviously but press the bell notification button. Now let's back to the tutorial. Okay, so to create obviously that type of cool animation simulation properties, we need some emitters. So first of all, you have to go to this simulator and where you can find this particles and then you can find this emitter option. Okay, so this is basically an emitter and when you play this, you can see the emitter is emitting some particles here. So the by default, it is like 90 frames. So let's change it to 300 frames and uh, now the emitter will continue to 300 frames okay cool now you have to rotate this emitter first so go to this uh, coordinate and some rotation make it to 90 degrees so now it's rotated here go back and play once now you can see it starts rotating okay cool so now we have to uh, do some uh, cool primitive stuffs where inside the particles will start emitting so first of all i'm taking a torus here you can take any primitives which you really want to use now select the torus properties and make it to 90 degree so now it's become rotated just like this okay so if you really want to increase the sizes and all so i have to just a bit increase the radius of it just a bit and uh, just increase the segment to 40 and after that pipe radius just a bit high so that the particles will can travel inside of this uh, torus in a really easy way now let's go to the multi view so this is called a multi view select the emitters and you have to positioning it inside of this so just like this when you go to the top view you can see the emitter is pretty large so what you have to do we are not decreasing the size of the emitter in fact we are increasing the size of the torus so just increase the size from here and increase the size from here as well now select the emitter back again and let's fit on the disk link now if you go to the display and you can change this to lines and you can exactly see in wireframe mode now just press uh, back button and when you play here you can exactly see the particles are uh, like emitting from this emitter okay so now you have to do some dynamics part okay so basically this is called uh, like simulation and dynamics both collaboration okay so first of all you have to select the torus and then right click where you can find this simulation tags now basically this will be our collider so select this as a like collider body now select the emitter right click and then simulation tags and this will be our rigid body okay so now there is no part particles inside of here that should be like collide with the torus. so now what you have to do take a primitive from here let's take it from platonic and after that move the positions here and decrease the size just like this and simply select drag and drop under this emitter that's it now select the emitter and where you can find this option called show objects select this and from emitter properties you can find this include coordinates many more things so just nothing you have to do just go have to this uh, rigid body tag where you can find these options so go to this dynamics collision no need to worry about all the things just change from individual elements from off to make it all that's it but still when you go back and play here it will be just like this okay the particles are getting outside of the torus what you have to do select this torus uh, this collider body tag and here you can find these options okay from the soft body tag you just have to change from off to met polygon and lines and that's it you are done now when you play this see the particles are falling inside of the torus that's it and it looks so really nice so now this is all done from here what do you have to do just have to do some multiple copies from here so first of all i just have to decrease the size just a bit and select the emitter and then you have to just copy it so ctrl c and ctrl v so this will have our emitter number two and just simply i just have to move this emitter to here that's it so just move it a bit and make it from the top view yes the position are exactly nice now simply delete this platonic from emitter number one and i can use any object under this emitter so i'm just taking this cube here move the positions and just decrease the size and simply drag and drop under this and after that i can select a sphere from here select the sphere and obviously move the positions and then simply decrease the size also and drag and drop under this okay 
Okay, so now when you play this, you can exactly notice the particles are falling down, not the top. It should be feel completely. And let's play it. And you can see the particles are colliding with each other really well, but this is only the below area. So what you have to do, you just have to push it more. So first of all, select the emitter and you can find this emitters and then particles where you can find these options. Now this is called like stop emission will be on like 150th number frame. So let's change it to 200 frames first. And after that, what you have to do simply increase the speed a bit. So let's increase it to like 300%. And after that, just what you have to do, just uh, select the platonic one and increase the size a bit. And uh, this is the most important trick here. Now go back and you have to check multiple times. So now when you play this see this is start getting like top okay okay then so let's do some more change settings from this emitter point one also increase the speed to something around to like 320 percent and uh, the stop emission will be like 210 frames and uh, yeah and then just increase the sphere size a bit just like this and yes you can see the particles are colliding with each other really well and the movements are really amazing okay so uh, this is almost completely filled with all the particles but let's see what you can all do from this emitters properties as well so this is called the variations one all if you change the lifetime properties from like this other variations if you rotate this a bit so what exactly happened this uh, like platonic ones will be start rotating with each other and colliding with a really good depth okay so this will start getting uh, complete after this we have to export this in OVJ sequence so from here we have to go to this element 3d and render it out with the help of element 3d because we're not doing it in here because the Arnold are taking too much time but if you comment down below on the comment section that if you really want a detailed Arnold tutorial yes or not then I will definitely come up with an Arnold tutorial inside of cinema 4d so to export this you just have to select this all and you have to apply some materials to each and other objects so you have to apply a material from here and this one and this one and this one all so you have to apply four materials for four elements here and then from file export you can find out this uh, obj exporter which is this one uh, now this is a script called obj sequence exporter this is only uh, applicable for rc19 version and this is not pre-installed you can find out this in google this is completely free and i applied this link is in description box below go and check it out download and use it so now you can export the obj sequence from cinema 42 any other the softwares okay so after that just select this obj sequence and you have to just save wherever you want to save and now let's jump into after effects inside of scene setup so this is after effects element 3d inside of scene setup and now you can see the torus is come up here in a really good way now if you go back here you can find out only one material or as one object is visible so if you just go to this wireframe see this is the only one torus but we exported the spheres and all so i have the solution just select here just have to change from frame offset from zero to one now you can find out all the elements are like this so i don't know this is called a bug or not but the frame zero is by default a basic primitive which is our torus they are not exporting the elements which is uh, like the emit from the particles okay so let's apply some materials here so first of all uh, we have to go to this from shader mode so this will be i think our like torus is this one yes we have to apply this in a class object so double click and this will be a class now from here you have to from blending mode make it to screen so now you can exactly see all this from here now go here and we can exactly increase the reflectivity to 100% and let's change the environment from here so change it to this one or else yep this one is pretty nice or else I think yeah this is also good okay so now just from here increase the frame offset so that you can exactly see all the particles are here but make sure you have to uh, like make it to something around like 50 so that the system will not start getting lagging and all now select this one this will be our like sphere so let's color it out with some materials uh, so let's select something from here like select from gray and after that I just change the colors to something like highlighted oranges and just a bit reflections a bit that's it and after that we have to apply something on this uh, platonic one select this and after that we have to let's see apply some random colors like this one metallic one and uh, change the colors from there to like yellow or blue yeah that's it now increase the glossiness and just like this decrease the reflectivity so that you can see the colors from here but don't too much i just want it to like this okay so first of all just uh, turn off this torus so that you can all see all the objects from here now select this one and go to this wireframe turn this on so now you can see this will become like some you know, 2d and some mixture of, of 3d this will be more uh, looking good in my way and select this one box and 
let's apply some other materials something like red and yup that's it and after that just increasing the diffuse color from here like just a bit so i'm just increasing the diffuse color a bit and now we have to apply some illumination from here so i'm just selecting here and select this use diffuse color and just increase it so now it illuminates some blue lights from here same thing from this one also illumination just a bit and the red one also illumination just a bit so it start getting highlighted inside of this glass effect now select the glass effect you have to go down what you have to do just have to turn off one option called invisible to AO glow because whenever you turn on the ambient occlusion it will not affect on this sphere so just turn this on and that's it now what you have to do simply press ok because you have to do a lot of other stuffs inside of after effects mainstream here okay so we have here right now from here take a new camera and I'm taking something 24 millimeters press ok now you have to just a bit like this and rotate the camera just like this so we have to place the camera positions and uh, yup that's it now take a new BS solid and make it to BG and just a bit like this and let's rename it to E3D because this is our element 3D layer and now from here take it to a ramp effect just a bit like this drag and drop and after that we have to change the colors from here okay the background is ready let's do some rendering stuff because this is very flat currently so select element 3D first right click new and light this is also most important step the light intensity 403 and uh, change the colors to something around blue this will be a parallel light press ok and yes the light is hitting so much let's change the light colors positions and yup that's it select element 3d go to render settings where you can find these options from ambient occlusion turn on the ambient occlusion i can see this is ambient occlusion is on increasing it to more now you can see all are affecting here pretty well okay now go to the shadows if you really want a shadow you can really use this but i don't think this is really necessary so after that select the parallel light let's change the positions of the light uh, just a bit more and something around this one and change the light yes this is fine okay now select element 3d and here you can find this called lights change it to 360 all the lights are coming up from here all else change it to cinematic this is nice okay so now we'll do some color correction stuff so inside of element 3d you just have to right click color corrections and take a curves and first of all let's add some contrast here just like this and uh, after that we need to take a master color corrections right click color corrections and then you can find out this curves here and let's same thing just a bit more to so highlight all the parts see this is already start looking really really well now select from blue increase the blue one here just like this and decrease it to here now it's become very soft and shiny okay now we have to go jump into element 3d because we have to fix out all this uh, like offset properties here so select it here and make it to obviously one don't change it to zero so make it to one and after that press ok so now all is back to here when you play this you can see the particles are start falling like this now you can animate the camera completely now let's do some depth of fields so from camera option turn on depth of field and after that simply render it out with the help of element 3d render engine you can use media core and all but 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 make sure you have to do this complete tutorial because this is a really exciting tutorial from cinema 4d and this is it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed this cinema 4d dynamics simulation properties tutorial and with the help of element 3d we render it out so please do comment your thought about this tutorial and make sure you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below and and make sure you have to subscribe to our channel vfx world because we are very close to hit 50k now we are done from today and we'll see you in my next video till then have fun stay home keep rocking keep watching Peace.